Hey everybody. So, um, Jason with Davis Shop Works. So I changed a few things on this uh, GC1725M I wanted to share with you about the lighting. This really could go for anybody's tractor. Um, they've all got the same kind of kind of issues, I guess you could say, or what, what I find to be kind of issues. Uh, one of the things is, is these tail lights and stuff, they're mounted to the outside typically. Um, the 1725M comes with this guard. I went ahead and moved the guard and this light in. Um, this is the stock spotlight for it. I have changed it over to a um, LED light uh, bulb, which was an 1156 uh, is what I used. I think I used like a projector beam. It's got kind of a a rounded front on it for like headlights you have to pardon me I've been a little under the weather so uh, the uh, sickness is real <laughs> but uh, anyway so these were moved in I moved them in and uh, I spaced them away just a little bit just a couple of fender washers in there to give me a little bit of space for the wires uh, because there's a hole on the outside of here where they connect up to so that wire goes right in that hole and then down into the rops. So I didn't drill any extra holes in the rops. I, I stay away from all that stuff. It's a piece of safety equipment and I, I stick to that. Um, but anyway, so I, I went ahead and then I had to clean up some of the wiring because uh, I'm not real sure who wires that, if that's part of a text job whenever the tractor is, um, arrives at the dealer or if that's done at wherever these things are built um, I don't know but they didn't really much care for the wiring job so I I cleaned that up and fixed it everything I wired up I use um, waterproof connectors typically uh, especially if I know I'm going to use it outside uh, which this will be used outside obviously could be raining might be just snowing um, all different weather conditions and everything so I fixed a lot of that, and then I clean a lot of that wiring up with this uh, covering just to kind of be honest with you, I just like the way that this corrugated covering looks. Um, so I use all that. So towards the end of the video, I'll show you the, the connectors that I got. Um, the solder seals that I use, you can find them on Amazon. I mean, you can get them anywhere. Napa, I'm sure, has got them, but... They've got a, a ring of solder in the middle of them, and then the uh, it's like a clear tube. These specifically have a like a red band or a blue band or a yellow band, depending on whichever size uh, for the gauge wire that you're using. That solder will typically melt first, so I give my wires a good twist, and then I slide that thing right over the middle, and then heat them up, and and then seal from the middle out. The reason why I go from the middle out is because I've noticed that if, if you was to do from one end, I actually just kind of tested it just to see, and I, it was exactly what I thought would happen is you almost trap air basically right in the middle. There's no way for it to get out. I mean, that's why it's a solder seal. So you're sealing stuff out. So why wouldn't you be able to seal stuff in? Um, so if you do get to use the nose uh, instead of like crimp on connectors and everything else, those are way better. Uh, and it creates a solid seal. Uh, sometimes I do go over the top of those with an extra layer of uh, shrink tubing. Um, and just a note for those that haven't used that stuff, you put all that stuff on there first. So you got to really uh, kind of reverse your process out and um, make sure that you're set up to go. Once you start heat sealing stuff, you're if you don't have a way to, to get a piece in there because you didn't put it on in the first right, then you're you're gonna end up screwing yourself on it. So um, so anyway, so I moved these lights in. Uh, the big deal with that was they just stuck so far out. I mean, they were sticking out huge, like I'd say like Mickey Mouse ears. And I checked and you can still see the lights from the front if I'm sitting in the cab here, sitting in the seat. Um, you know, these things are still pretty bright. I did not change out the bulbs in here. I left them. Um, but I did change my headlights over to also the same 1156 bulbs um, that I changed this spotlight to. 
um, they get pretty bright. Now up here, I designed this. This is magneted on. It's got two big magnets um, and that they're pretty strong. Um, it's a, uh, a piece of plastic up there. I'll show you a little bit more here in just a minute, but these spotlights here are from um, online. You can get them from uh, Amazon. They're called Nylite. I don't have anything to do with them. They're just the product that I picked. I feel like it's a pretty fair price uh, for what you're getting. Um, I had redone a, 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 the entirety of a golf cart and added these to the front. I was really happy with those. Uh, now the new owners seem to be very happy with them. So I got a kit that included these two and this. I think this is a 12 or a 14 inch bar. I think it's 12, but um, anyway, these things are pretty bright. Now these do, um, hopefully you can see that here, that they do turn out. Um, I've allotted all of my wiring to move with these things um, and they are disconnectable. Made everything so I could disconnect them, replace them if I needed. Um, the arms here, the reason for that is, is my spotlight now does an excellent job of lighting up where the three point is, the implement and stuff like that. So I don't have any issues with lighting that up and seeing that area, working with the pins if I'm changing out implements at night. These spot beams are really good for having them back if I'm doing work at night, which I have with the box blade. I'm able to see very clearly behind me. They do a good job of like, so not only are their spot points pretty good, but their surrounding light is actually pretty decent too. Um, and so being able to move those around and shift them uh, to the forward spot so I could see ahead if I need or see a wider path ahead of me. Um, that 12 inch beam does a great job um, as far as projecting light ahead of me. With the loader up there, everybody who's got a loader knows that, that that's really a, a tricky deal as your headlights are really not, non-existent once you raise your load up a little bit. Uh, the headlights just beam right into the back of the bucket. Um, so having them now as LEDs has helped out though. It's a whiter light. It's not like a, like a dim kind of dark yellowish light. Oddly enough, the old bulbs were, they were an incandescent bulb. Um, the LEDs produced a really nice white light, which has helped out drastically. But I really do like these top lights that I've put on here. Um, they're very bright. It opens up a ton of vision for you. You see pretty well everything that you need. Now, the way that I ran my lights uh, while we're still in the back here is I came around uh, down the rocks here. I came around and entered in that hole because that hole was big enough. It probably about a one inch hole or seven eighths hole, something like that. So I ran and fished all my wiring down in those holes so that I could pass through and come underneath uh, the tractor down underneath here. And then I followed some existing wiring and ensured that the three point movement um, any linkages on my way up to the front was all uh, past where it's not going to get into anything. Um, so let me let me take this loose and, and show a few a few more of these um, uh, things up here so you can kind of see them a little bit better. So pass through for here is you know it, it comes down the rops and. Um, comes into this this hole here that's an access hole. Pardon the rest of my shop, it's pretty messy. Um, I've been moving a lot of things around, but so they, they pass through here, which transfers down. And like I said, it, it comes out this bottom hole. Those holes are already there. Passes down and then it actually, let's see if I could show it here. It, the diesel tank is here, but that the wires kind of come down, they transfer down and then they go forward. Now, whenever it comes up here, sometime, I mean, I, I can always do a video if somebody's interested on it, but there's a relay that comes with these. That relay is actually mounted behind this plate. This plate comes off on the GC1725 AMs. I'm sure the 23s are the same. Um, and so it, it, it comes off and the relay's up in there. And then, get this off of here. I've hooked it straight to the battery 
Now there is a fuse in there. Um, and so I've got it, there it is there, actually. So there is a fuse there. Uh, in case there's any issues, that fuse will go. Um, one thing I did though is, I'm gonna get up on here once. So I didn't want to drill any holes in the in the cockpit area, the steering area, anything like that. Guys, I've seen drill holes in here. I mean, whatever, if, if that's where you want to put them. So what I did, though, was something a little bit different. Um, in my shop, I've got about 20 years of fiberglass work on uh, sailboats and stuff like that. And so I did, this is kind of crude at the moment, needs a little bit more finishing, but um, I made a fiberglass box using what's called the lost foam method. Um, there is... Uh, that's actually felt there, a little bit of the epoxy bled through. Um, but anyway, this thing magnetizes itself to the um, to the sidearm there. So whenever I go to remove the loader, it's just going to magnetize to the loader arm, to the frame bracket. Now this here, uh, the switch lights up uh, whenever it turns on, and... Uh, you can see it's it's pretty bright already showing it up on there um so i've been very happy with these lights uh that location is is i mean it's a little harder to show because of my um handling this camera but um that location there is perfect uh for for me on the tractor now coming back around here to how this is made here Again, pardon my shop, it is a mess. I'm in the middle of cleaning it, but I've put some wing nuts on these arms and these lights can swing around and do whichever. Now, whenever they come back, the magnet mount bolt that you can see right there is what stops this thing from, you know, going too far back. So the whole setup then is just straight. Now, this piece here, I found the angle of the ROPS, because this ROPS on this tractor slides back some. I found the angle of the ROPS, and I tried to find my angles of this light and how I wanted it. And then I, I cut that on my um, table saw. Hopefully you can kind of tell there is a an angle there. On that top edge and so whenever I bolted this one through on uh, these two spots here it it was um, kind of gave it a lean forward angle which took out the angle of the uh, ROPS and then my uh, spot beam back here um, it like I said I cleaned up its wiring and then um, added that LED in there so that that thing is also a lot brighter so anyway, that, uh, that's going to conclude it for the lights, really, for now. Uh, if there's any questions or comments, leave them below. Please like, subscribe. Just trying to grow my channel, growing the um, kind of the knowledge of the, the Massey Ferguson series of tractors. Obviously, this mod can be done to any tractor. Um, you know, I've used magnets to um, attach my lights. You could... Take this same setup off of this one, put it on another one. Um, like I said, everything is disconnectable and all that. It, it actually looks fairly stock whenever you look underneath the tractor. Everything's wrapped. I, I try to do a pretty good job at that. I mean, I did it professionally for, like, like I said, about 20 years. So um, I try to still turn out that type of quality of work, take that extra time to, to leave those things nice looking. Um, hopefully I can make a video about wiring, doing some wiring and, and um, some tips and tricks on things. Um, I'll add that to my list, actually. That sounds like a kind of an interesting thing, um, especially if I get into some stuff on my own sailboat here. I've got some wiring jobs and stuff I'd like to do on it. But uh, at any rate, back to the task at hand, the, the tractor lights, if uh, you're interested in it, kind of that tractor lighting, uh, Nylite, which is N-I... Uh, light um, on Amazon. They've got plenty of different packages to pick from. Uh, there's tons of, of other LED manufacturers out there as well. Might be better. I, 
I don't know. I just so happened to pick these. Um, for my use, I didn't want to drop a, a ton of money into it. Um, the wiring that I did get uh, from them uh, also was their waterproof connectors. Um, if you go to their store, they've got quite a few different things. Now, those solder seals I talked about, um, I don't even remember who the heck makes them, to be honest with you. Uh, there's so many different names of makers, and, and they're so dumb, like Quibble Bop, and I mean, just stupidity in the names. But um, anyway, I, I bought some just to, just to run them because I was running low, and I knew I wouldn't have enough to finish this project, So, um, which I did end up running out of my originals and, and have cut into this new box. So you can get them anywhere as well. Uh, there's also plenty of videos online of guys showing how to use those solder seals, but I did see one where a guy started from the outsides and then did the middle, and uh, that's why I threw in that message about trapping air in them. I, I know that personally. I purposefully did it uh, to see, which, like I said, I didn't expect any different of a result, but you don't want to do that because you literally have to pop that thing, and, and that um, totally destroys the idealism behind it sealing all the way through there, because there's literally like a glue, and it seals that whole connection along with soldering all at the same time. Um, fantastic little uh, connectors. So anyway, if you have any questions or anything like that, um, you know, shoot them in the comments below, uh, reach out to me or whatnot, and um, I'll see what I can answer, and, and um, we'll go from there. Thank you for listening, and I hope that this helps you with, with whatever project you might be seeking out. Have a great day.